Hello, this video is for those who'd like to know if the person they've got a crush on has mutual feelings or not. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread, we'll try to see if they're feeling the same way or not about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual, in the second spread, we'll see if there is a potential between you and them. Or, if their heart is with someone else, then in the second spread, we'll try to see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please subscribe and donate to support this channel. Let's begin. Hi Gemini, let's see what the person you are either in love with or have a crush on think about you. We've got the Fool, the Lovers, the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another Gemini. <laughs> so the Lovers card is um, your personal card Gemini, I hope you know that. And uh, you are either dealing with another Gemini or the Lovers is... Um, the way they feel about you. Often the lovers represents a choice but uh, I don't see any other cards suggesting this person is facing a choice and I'll get to that in a second. So in this case the lovers is most likely um, either a soulmate or a twin flame connection or they're just desperately in, in love with you. Gemini. Um, so yeah, let's get to the other cards. We've got the Fool and the Ace of Cups, right? And we have the Six of Cups here. So the Six of Cups is uh, somebody uh, coming back from the past. I don't know if you were already uh, in a relationship with this person or you just knew them, you associated with them in some other way. You could have worked with them or you could have just had mutual friends or you could have had a false start with them. Perhaps it just didn't get off the ground for some reason. Something among those lines, but it could be an X too. So uh, we have the Fool. This is all about taking a leap of faith. Um, so they would uh, be happy to start a relationship with you no matter the circumstances. That's what the Fool usually represents. They're just ready. They're ready and waiting. And we also have the Ace of Cups here. It does not get any better than the Ace of Cups when it comes to love offers. So I hope you, you're starting to get the picture here, Gemini. We've got the Fool, the Leap of Faith, the Lovers, which is either you or another Gemini you're dealing with, or they're just really in love with you, and the Ace of Cups. This is uh, them wanting to offer their cup of love to you. So this is a great spread. This is an amazing spread. And I think the Mercury retrograde is in full effect. We've got the Six of Cups here, somebody from the past. Um, and um, I've been seeing Six of Cups all day long today, so uh, Mercury retrograde is affecting everybody. Besides that, we've gotten a bunch of other planets in retrograde. Alright, so clearly this person is into you, Gemini. Congratulations. Let's see what, uh, what's going to happen between the two of you in the, in the immediate future. Alright, Gemini, let's talk about the immediate future. And by immediate future, I mean July. Uh, we've got the uh, Five of Swords, clarified by the Hermit. We've got the Page of Cups, the Magician, and the Seven of Cups. So I think I'm, I got more details here. You could be dealing with a Virgo. The Hermit is the person with the Virgo card. Or this person had to go within, do some uh, soul searching, just separate themselves from everybody and uh, think about it. And... Uh, the Five of Swords is most likely the energy of the past. Uh, so the two of you were in a relationship most likely. But then uh, it came to an end. Uh, you either had a fight or somebody just decided that you know, they're going to walk away for whatever reason. I don't know what happened between the two of you, but there was a separation here. Um, so yeah, you could be dealing with a Virgo or this is just somebody who spent some time thinking about you and as we saw in the first spread they are realizing that you are the one for them and they do want to take a leap of faith faith with you so this is the immediate future right we've got the page of cups this is an offer coming from them it could be an apology or this is just them trying to smooth things over with you we also have the magician here that's them manifesting you into their life or back into their life. Uh, the Magician is uh, usually a good card to have together with uh, 
the page of cups so they're constantly thinking about you and they're trying to come up with the best way to approach you and they will approach you at some point in July and make you this small offer um, probably hoping that you will uh, accept it but as we saw in the first spread there's a lot more emotions and feelings behind this small page of cups so just be aware of that perhaps they're just not sure or afraid that you will reject them um, and we have the seven of cups as the outcome I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and the seven of cups came out so that's you in the seven of cups trying to make a decision and uh, in this case I think you may have more than one person to choose from right so you have this person coming back from the past and perhaps you are either dating other people or you just want to keep your options open or you have multiple suitors you know swarming around you <laughs> so um, a choice will be yours the ball will be in your court but um, yeah, expect this person to come back around and make you this offer and that they're really into you. But it's also possible that you'll have more than one person interested in you, Gemini. So it'll be up to you which person to go with or if you want to get back together with this particular person. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.